Roman Reigns becomes a man without a brand until he decides to return. Since he lost his title at WrestleMania 40, he's expected to take a lengthy hiatus after such a long title run. When he makes his comeback, he's free to battle whoever he wants. Roman Reigns should feud with the next five stars when he returns in 2024. Number 5. Seth Rollins will always be linked for Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins was the last person to defeat him in one-on-one -on -one action. The victory was via disqualification at the 2022 Royal Rumble, but still marked an important moment in the Tribal Chiefs' record-setting run. Jey Uso would pin him in a tag-team match, but Rollins and Reigns will always be tied together due to the Shield. Since the Visionary never got a proper rematch because he technically won, the two former allies need to feud again at some point. Rollins also distracted the head of the table in the title match at WrestleMania 40, allowing Rhodes to pick up the overdue victory. Number 4. Roman Reigns vs. Gunther About halfway through Roman Reigns' 1,300-day run, Gunther won the Intercontinental title. He became the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history, with a run that ended after 666 days. While the Tribal Chief was consistently referred to as dominant simply for having a lengthy run, almost all of his wins came with help from the bloodline. Conversely, the Ring General actually dominated nearly every challenger who came his way. Gunther could be the next top heel in all of WWE, so he must battle and overcome the man who purported to be dominant at the same time. Number 3. CM Punk vs Roman Reigns One of the easy dream matches fans talked about when CM Punk returned to WWE was with Roman Reigns. They have a history dating back to The Shield's debut, and both have been the company's top stars at various points. Now that Reigns has recused himself from the draft, he can feud with Punk regardless of which brand the voice of the voiceless joins. It would be a feud against a version of Roman Reigns who finally found his footing on the Mick. He would still, however, be going up against one of the best Mick workers in history. Number 2. Roman Reigns and Solo Sikko will battle over bloodline leadership. As it plays out each week, it's easy to see that Solo Sikko may have some explaining to do when Reigns comes back to WWE. Even when he returns to WWE, it might take a few months before the two clash. Everyone still knows that the endgame was always a singles contest between the Tribal Chief and the Tribal Hare. Adding Tamatama to the group and potentially Jacob Fatu also sets up the potential for the original group to battle the new version. The live audience even chanted for Reigns during one of Solo's in-ring segments. Number 1. The Rock's timing set off a chain of events for a dream match. While many fans wanted to see The Rock and Roman Reigns clash at WrestleMania 40, his timing wasn't the best. Cody Rhodes earned his second shot at beating the Tribal Chief. When The Rock waltzed back in and Rhodes graciously stepped aside, however, it rubbed many people the wrong way. Factor in how The Rock joined the board of TKO, and it didn't paint the people's champ in the best light. Instead of battling his cousin, he teamed up with him against Rhodes and Rollins on Night 1 of Mania. The Rock still plays up the Hollywood version of his character and wants a shot at Rhodes whenever he returns. When the Great One does come back, he must feud with Reigns. The match doesn't need a title to be booked because, as The Rock said, it could be over the greatest wrestling family in history. So what are your thoughts on Roman Reigns' feuds with the superstars? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.